publicly for the other doctors to find. So a lot of it's anecdotal and saying, talk to someone and say, oh, I think this doctor does it, or and then asking a lot of questions. So if your doctor decides to do this, you have to take a um, they have to take a test, which eventually looks like this. So I this is the one I took. The exact same one the doctors take is what the pharmacists take. Massachusetts Medical Society. It's not even New York State. I offered to teach a course for the doctors. They turned me down. So they contracted with some Harvard doctors that I've personally spoken to. They said, you know a lot more of this. You know, can we collaborate together? This is the Massachusetts Medical Society from Harvard reaching out to me and saying, we need to learn more about this. So New York State contract with them. Once you finish this course, you get a certificate. This means you can then register in New York State. So once you get registered, the doctor does this. The doctor will discuss whether you're eligible to get a recommendation. You can't say the word prescription because <clears throat> prescribing is a schedule two through five plus non-controls. Schedule one's doctors can't write because it's illegal federally because it has no this lie. Right. Yes. The two to five are for the state scheduling, right? Yes. Okay. And then that So after this, you will get a certificate if the doctor decides that you're appropriate. This is what the certificate will look like. It's a little bit different than a prescription, if anyone's received a prescription. It has so much more information that's required than a doctor writing for Percocet, Norco, Oxycodone. They get a DEA number, so it is being registered with the state. It has more dosing recommendations. Uh, the one that I received my children said, patient suffers from partial symptomatic epilepsy. She currently suffers from two to three seizures. She, she forgot the extra zeros. It was actually 200 to 300 seizures a day. I would like to start with a dose of 2.5 milligrams with gradual increase depending on patient response. Now, as a pharmacist, I'm going to pay 2.5 milligrams of what? THC, CBD, CBN, CBG. They still write it this way. Wow. So this is kind of incomplete. So the doctors are doing the right thing, but even then, the course doesn't tell you what they should be starting with. So this is why I've been working with most of the doctors in the area to make sure that this can improve. And since then, it definitely has. So once you get this certificate, you can then go to a dispensing facility and get product. So once this is done, you go to New York State, you will get a card. And if you're under 18, you're going to get a patient card. And, and then you have to have a caregiver, so it's patient and caregiver. A patient can have um, up to two caregivers. But a caregiver can be a caregiver for up to five patients. Kind of doesn't make any sense. So let me explain this. So my daughter Taylor um, has a card. I'm a caregiver, and my wife is a caregiver. But if we go out of town for some reason, and we actually went uh, for our anniversary out of country, I had to con transfer one of my caregivers to my close friend Lisa, so that she could pick up the medication in case we're there. Charge you another fifty dollars every time you go back and forth. But if I was a caregiver, I could be a caregiver for Maya, Taylor, my son, and someone else. You can be up to five. Patients can only have two. So you think parents are involved? Who else can you get to get the medication? And I, there's this, a screenshot I have of where these locations are. It's going to kind of blow your mind where patients that I've been doing have to go. So you get your card, you show up to your dispensing facility, you purchase a product, and it looks like this. The price is determined by the state. So the companies have to submit a pricing structure, and the state either accepts it or rejects it. This is the only product out of all the pharmaceuticals, and I've been a pharmacist for 18 years, where the state is dictating a price. Pharmaceutical companies don't have upper limits on this. They can charge two cents or $10,000. Why is this any different? It's going through such a harder process to get registered, filing with the DEA, filing with the Department of Health. That's not a, I mean, it's a recommendation, but the information on there is far more than writing Oxycontin, 20 milligrams, take you know one tablet every 12 hours as needed. No indication, and that's legal, and that's killing a lot of patients. You know, we get overdoses every care hospital. And heroin, at least twice a week, creating overdoses that patients have died. 
and it breaks your heart. You know, we had one who overdosed this past week. Um, the boyfriend, he died. And the girlfriend left. We found her dead 30 minutes later. Every, this is happening in our community. How does it start? Talking to some of these patients can be as simple as I had a tooth extract and they gave me Tylenol with codeine, and that led to oxycodone, Percocets, Narcos, and then your body's physiologically addicted to it. With cannabis, it can be argued either way, but I can tell you from a pharmaceutical standpoint, narcotics have receptors that the drug binds to, and your body craves it if you stand there over a period of time. So your body needs to have it. If you try reducing the dose, you'll go through the shakes. You'll go through the headaches. So how do you get rid of that? You take more medication. So the downregulation of the receptors causes your body to take wants more. Cannabis doesn't have these separate receptors. It's not a physiological addiction. It's more psychological, almost like alcohol. You know, on Friday nights, oh, I feel like having a beer, because that's what you do. It's not like if you're an alcoholic, you've got to the point where your body craves this. Cannabis doesn't work this way. The receptors are not the same as opiates. So this is a map of New York State and the dispensing facilities. So mind you, there are five companies, and each company can put out four dispensing facilities. I just got this off New York State just yesterday. These are where they're located. Opening soon. They're not even open yet. We've gone into this over a year and a half. These are the best companies in New York State that were chosen out of 43. They still don't have one open. As of, what, two months ago, there were three that were not open. Bloomfield is being sold. They're not even one year and a half years. They're being sold to a company called MedMed from California. But they never applied for an application with the other 43 companies. I was there. I was involved with five companies when they were going for licensure. None of us finished the top five. We came really close on a couple. But this company that bought Bloomfield wasn't on the application for the 43. However, looking into some of the background, they have affiliated with, with PharmaCannis. Their lobbyist groups are kind of affiliated with PharmaCannis. So I don't know the politics behind this. I try not to say the politics. But the lack of transparency is really affecting so this is where they're located. And let me show you this better on a map. Because... What if you lived in Olean? Where do you go? Where's your closest dispensing facility? Yeah, these are sick people. Patients that have serious medical conditions. You're making them drive hours once a month to get a product. If you're up <laughs> There's nothing. And we never get snow in Buffalo or anywhere across you know, New York State. Some of these mornings I've had patients call me and say, how am I supposed to get out of my car, out of my driveway? I have three feet of snow and I have to come up to Buffalo where the companies are only open three days a week for very restricted hours. They're not open at night. Um, they're open Monday, Tuesdays, and Fridays. The one in Binghamton has one day a week. So, you have to make your decisions. Are you calling your sick from work? How do you get it? You can allow two caregivers to be transferred to somebody to pick it up for that loved ones. Anyone been, been to New York City? There's a bunch down here, but just going from